today it's smoked brisket tacos texas style i tell you what folks i've got a beautiful brisket we're cooking up here today we're going to cook it hot and fast we're going to show you how to do that show you the steps of it get it seasoned up and we are going to barbecue brisket today we're going to make some fantastic tacos out of it so stick around and see how we make these great brisket tacos texas style i am chef johnny and this is texas style barbecue and cuisine appreciate you dropping by and I do have a nice brisket we're cooking up for you here today. Guys, this is a backyard cook. It is not a competition trim or competition type brisket. This is for the backyard. This is a uh, just a, a nice packer brisket from HEB. It is nothing special at all, but I'm gonna show you how to cook this baby up so that it is moist and tender and make some great, great tacos. Now on those tacos, we're gonna grill up some onions and peppers. Also going to put some salsa on it, a little guacamole. This is going to be a top-notch Texas-style taco, guys. I'm telling you that. If you've never had a brisket taco, it's something you need to try. So come in here close. Let me show you just a little bit of trimming I'm going to do on this. Show you how we season it up and then how we get it on that ugly drum smoker. Come on in here and let's look at this. Our brisket's ready to go. It's uh, just slightly over 11 pounds. And guys, we're going to cook this probably under five hours. If you've never had a hot and fast brisket, do not knock it till you've tried it. That's all I can tell you. It's going to surprise you, the moisture that's retained in it, and uh, just the whole brisket all the way around. So get it out of the package here. There are a few parts I want to take off. Right here, this is going to burn. So we're going to take that off. We will save this for brisket trimmings, guys. Take that off real easily. We'll make this thing a little aerodynamic, right? That's gone. Save that for sausage. This piece right here, that'll burn up. It's gone. And uh, just anything loose, I might take off. This fat on this backside, it's going to help protect this brisket from the hot and fast. It's going to be right over the heat in that ugly drum smoker. But I'm in a little virtual cooking contest. So I'm going to be matching up with the guy, Barlow's Barbecue, Scott Barlow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put his link below so you can go watch his video also. But when this one airs, his is gonna be right after it. And there's gonna be a link below for you to go to the community page of Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. A friend of mine, and he's a really good guy, but you can vote for which one of us you like better at that. And I hope you go over there and vote for me. Like I said, it's not a competition brisket. I'm gonna leave a lot of this on there. You got pretty thick along here, so we don't need that much. I'm gonna take it down to about a quarter of an inch, maybe. Just a little bit at a time. So you're less likely to get too much if you go a little at a time. Now, this thin part of this brisket, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna come through this real good. It's pretty thin there. Um, you could uh, leave it on and let it protect this part. Different opinions on how to do that. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna curve this around. Go back to that thicker part. And I'm gonna use that again for sausage. That's all I think I'm gonna take off of this back side. Let's flip it over now. On this side, here's what I wanna get off. This big kernel. So, come in here, and we're gonna take this kernel out of there. All right, right there. Maybe take off the sharp edges so the heat flows across it a little bit better. But that's good. Up on top, I'm not going to take off a whole lot. I don't want any divots in here. I'm not real worried about this silver skin. Again, it is not a competition type of cook, guys. And see, I already got too deep right there. But just taking off a little bit of fat across this flat area. You can hold your hand up underneath, right, to hold it up and get that off. But... Guys, if you cook this brisket to temp, it's not gonna be all dried out. And now every, every brisket is different. But I'll tell you this, you can, uh, you can cook a select or a choice brisket or even one that's not grated at all and still have a very good meal, a very good brisket. That's all I'm taking off, that's it. I'm gonna stop after that cut right there. First thing we're gonna season with is my uh, Cosmos uh, cow cover. 
This is a great, great seasoning. We're gonna do the backside first. I am not putting on a binder. Um, we're gonna do it just like this, guys. Try to, wind's blowing a little bit today, so I'm gonna try to keep my hand up here. I still wanna let y'all see, but get the edges good. This is a great big chunk of meat. I do not mind putting a lot of seasoning on it. Little uh, hot, dirty bird, guys. It's gonna do a great flavor with it here. And these are going on tacos, so I think the heat is gonna be good on those tacos. Dirty birds on. Now, little Texas beef from Cosmos also. And this, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter layer. Light layer of Texas beef on the bottom. I'll pat this in. Again, cow cover. Go a little bit lighter. This is the meat side, so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than I did on the fat side. But this is gonna help develop a great bark. The saltiness of this is really gonna help us uh, have some tremendous flavor. Now, there we go. That's done. Our heat from our Dirty Bird Hot. That's looking good. And on this side, I'm gonna do a nice covering of Texas beef. Now you use the seasons you want to. These work good for me. I uh, had great success, people love them. So, uh, they like it, I keep doing it. That's it, we're gonna let this sweat out. Let's check that pit temp. It's time to get this brisket on, guys. I got this pit up to about, oh, 375. You can see right there, that brisket is sweated out really good. Scrunch it together. Keep some uh, meat fibers packed together good. That's going to help it hold moisture. Let's get it covered back up. We're going to rotate this every 30 minutes. We're going to spend 180 degrees for two hours. If it's ready then, if the bark is set and it's looking like I want it to, we're going to wrap it up, guys, with a uh, little seasoning I'm going to put in there, a little liquid. I'll show you all that in just a minute. We're two hours in. We're gonna check this, see what it looks like. Check the color on it and see if I wanna go two and a half. Been running at about 375, spun it every 30 minutes. So it's opened up, let our smoke clear a little bit. There we go, you should be able to see that pretty good. It can use a little bit more color. So I'm gonna spin this around. You can tell this brisket has really just puffed up. It's not, it's not stuck on here. That's good. We don't want it to do that. But I want it to get a little bit more color. So lid back on it, going 30 minutes, 375. And uh, then I think we can go ahead and wrap it. We are two and a half hours in. This brisket is ready to get wrapped. Open it up, get it up here, and show you how I wrap it. Oh yeah, we have got a ton of color. It is a beautiful mahogany. Can y'all see that? Man, we'll get up close over here and you will be able to. This brisket, it is looking nice. It is puffed up. When you cook them hot and fast, guys, they puff. They puff really nicely. Swell up. This one is, is looking good. We're gonna wrap it in this foil. I got some uh, moisture we're gonna get in here with it. I'll tell you what I'm adding to this to help with the moisture of this brisket as it finishes off. Guys, we're, we're two and a half hours in. I'm thinking another two. That'd give us five and a half. It could be less, but we're gonna we're gonna check and see. All right, guys, we've got this uh, brisket ready to wrap. It's looking pretty. This bark is set. It's got a good mahogany color. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this thing up. Two pieces of foil. I'm gonna hook them together. And uh, what we're gonna do is when I hook them together is keep that up on the side so we don't lose any juice. So we just fold these together, crimp it real good, bring it up on the side, and now we're gonna fold it over and do the same thing in the front. We're going to crimp this side, this end real good, get it folded over, and we're going to get ready to put in our, our moisture. And what I have here today, guys, is, is I have, it's a little bit over two cups of beef broth, so it's going in there. And what I'm going to add to this is some Cosmos brisket mop. Got about a half a bottle here. It's left over from a little competition brisket that, that cook that we had the other day. So we're going to pour this in. 
and uh, let those just really, it's going to saturate into this meat. It's going to give us some great flavor. It's going to have a lot of moisture in there and some fantastic flavor. And we're just going to seal this up the rest of the way, get it crimped over. We're going to get this back on the pit, and we're going to be cooking this somewhere around 375. Just continue at that temperature. It's been going good there. That's where the temp of the pit's kind of been running today. So we're going to leave it there. We have got that brisket on there. We've got about two hours to go. In this two hours, this is going to go real quick for y'all, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some guacamole. I'm going to make some uh, salsa, and I am going to make some uh, bell peppers, sauteed bell peppers and onions to go with these tacos. Those things will be going on. Next time you see me, we're going to be getting this off. We're going to let it rest for a little while, and after it's rest, we're going to slice it up, and we're going to get it in those tacos. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, these are top-notch tacos. They're Texas style, and they're great. We are two and a half hours into this cook, so we are at a total of five hours. This is at 210 degrees. We're gonna pull it off, guys. There we go. I'm gonna burp this, let it cool down a little bit. We're gonna get the au jus off of it. I'll show you how we sauce it up, get it back on here. Now, when I say I'm burping it, all I'm doing, guys, is coming in here and I'm opening it up and letting the steam out. Just like that, let it start cooling down. I'm gonna get my fat separator, pour off this au jus. Here we go. I think we're dripping a little bit of our au jus. Not everything's holding together here, but we're gonna take it right here and just pour it into our fat separator. There we have it. Gonna let this brisket cool down just a little bit. We're gonna sauce it, put it back on the pit, and add some more tremendous flavor. Guys, we're layering flavors, that's what you do. Now, we have our sauce. What I'm gonna do is take this lid off. Guys, this is about two-thirds of Cosmo's original and about one-third of its sweet smoke. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fat separator, sit it right over the top, and I'm gonna about top this off. Now, this sauce is warm. So it's gonna flow good over that brisket. Little tip, if you do competition briskets that you're gonna sauce, always let that uh, get that sauce warm so it flows good across that brisket before you put it back on your pit to set the, set the sauce. And that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna take a peek in here at this brisket. Let's get it here, open it up. Ooh, that's a beautiful mahogany color. If I can fold this foil down so y'all can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna take my sauce now and I'm gonna coat this brisket. See how thin it is so it's running across my brisket? That's what I want. I want it to run off. And folks, this is gonna be, let me tell you what, this is gonna be flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. We have these sauces, add a little extra smoky flavor to it with that sweet smoke, the original Cosmos, and mixed in with our au jus. There is a ton of flavor we are uh, layering up on top of this brisket. Pop off our lid. Pit still nice and hot. I'm just gonna grab this foil and set it right back on there. Let it go about 15, 20 minutes. We'll set that sauce and then we'll get it off. It is time to get that brisket off, folks. It has been on there for about 20 minutes. That sauce is looking pretty on it. We're gonna get it off, let it cool a little bit, then we're gonna slice it up for you. Brisket's been cooling for a little bit. We're gonna see if we can slice it up, see how it turned out, and find out what kind of tacos it'll make. See what this brisket does. Slice it open, give y'all a peek. <laughs> oh baby, that's pretty. That brisket is pretty, guys. See, we take another slice off. See that juice squirting out of there? Look at that. Look at this right here. That's the fold test. That that means she's tender. Stayed together. Man, this is gonna make some sweet tacos, guys. Let me tell you. Mm mm. 
That is packed with flavor. That brisket is cooked right. Take a little more off this flat, quarter inch thick slice. It's time to find out if we can make a taco out of these. Guys, I have those grilled peppers and onions I told you about. What I did was took a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, sauteed those down with a little fajita seasoning on them. So that's how we got our peppers and our onions, red, uh, orange, and yellow bell pepper. I have some of my salsa camada here. Hey, long time salsa. I've been making this for a long time. I'll leave you a link for that. Homemade guacamole. You can see me and my daughter making that. Put a link below for it. But guys, we're going to start making tacos, and I did cheat. I didn't make the tortillas. Wife ran down one of the local restaurants here, picked me up a dozen tortillas. So we got some tortillas to try out in these tacos, and they are handmade. Let's get some of these homemade tortillas here. One, two, going three times, just like that. Come in here with a nice, pretty slice of brisket. Mm, our brisket tastes good. Three beautiful slices of brisket. Guys, I'm going to take some of these grilled onions and these bell peppers. I'm going to drop those in here. Pretty red one right there. Should we get a little red? We want some color on these. Now, our guacamole. A couple of dollops on each one. Fresh avocado. Man. And now the roasted tomato salsa right here, guys. Goes with that across it. That is just going to boost the flavor. If you wanted to use some sour cream or something like that on it, you could do that. I'm not doing that today. This is going to have so much flavor. I don't think. You could do cheese. You could do what you wanted to. But I tell you what, I don't think it needs it today. That is packed with flavor. It's about time to taste us a taco. Let's take a bite of this taco and see how it turned out today. I tell you what, I think I hear angels singing. Guys, this is a great taco, without a doubt. This is heavenly. Man, it came out good. This, this brisket is tender. And guys, it was a grade brisket. It wasn't even select, choice, or prime. You don't have to buy prime to make a good brisket if you do it right. Hey, we cooked it hot and fast, did it in about five hours, maybe a little bit over. But I tell you what, guys, it puffed up. It held moisture. It held a tremendous amount of flavor with those rubs that we put on it. We used this roasted salsa on there, the sauteed uh, sweet bell peppers and onions just added to it tremendously. And that fantastic fresh guacamole on some fresh tortillas. You can't beat that. Hey, this is a tremendous meal. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, this is for a contest. Look down below. Go over there. I got a link. Smoking Joe's community page. Guys, you can vote. There's a lot of other teams going today. You can watch their videos. Vote for them. I think we got three days to be voting on who wins. I'm going against Scott uh, Bartlow, Bartlow's Barbecue. Great guy. Watch his too. I'll put a link for him down below. But I know he is going to have a great brisket. I need my friends, my family, my subscribers, my followers, my viewers to go vote and help make sure that I finish on top today. Hey, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I always do appreciate it. Hey, remember to uh, tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road. Goodbye, everybody. Go make yourself a taco.